Hey guys, it's Miss Ross, and I'm here to teach science for this week. So for science this week, you're going to be learning about landforms and bodies of water. And I'm going to show you a lot of different landforms and bodies of water. And then I'm going to show you how to make those out of Play-Doh for a project for the week. So I'm excited to share these with you today. So the first one that we're going to learn about is a ocean. So ocean, you might have seen an ocean before. You might have been to an ocean before. This is an ocean. The ocean covers a lot of the earth, okay? The ocean is salt water and it's a lot of water and it's really, really deep. So these are what the oceans look like. The ocean's really big. You might have seen the ocean if you've ever been to the beach or if you've seen the beach on TV, you've probably seen an ocean. There's always lots of waves. There's lots of cool sea creatures that live there. That's the ocean. Now, the next one that we're gonna look at is a river. Now, a river is a long winding body of water that flows into an ocean or a lake, all right? So these are some pictures of rivers. Rivers can be all different shapes. They can be surrounded by all different kinds of land. They can be where it's really cold. They can be where it's really hot. But rivers flow through the land. And they usually end up in an ocean or a lake. So let me show you. Where the river goes into a lake or an ocean is called the river mouth. So if you look at this picture, it's flowing, the river is flowing into the ocean. It can also flow into another body of water like a lake. So the river mouth is where the river meets a different kind of body of water. Now, we talked about, I talked about a river could enter into a lake. Now, these are some pictures of lakes. Lakes are completely surrounded by land. Lakes can be natural or they can be man-made. You could make your own lake. If you have a lot of water, you can, I mean, a lot of land, you can dig a hole and fill it with water and make your own lake. So here's some pictures of some really cool lakes. You might have been to a lake before. There's a lot of lakes around here. The next one, is a bay. Now this is a landform because the land is surrounding water partially. So if you look on these pictures, it's showing the ocean, but it's showing part of that water being surrounded by land. And that is called the bay. So look at these cool bays. Looks pretty awesome. Now, the next landform we're gonna look at is called a peninsula. Now a peninsula is where land sticks out of and is surrounded by water on three sides. It's not completely surrounded by water, but it's surrounded by water on three sides. So if you look at these pictures, you can see that it's surrounded by water on three sides. That is called a peninsula. Now, if it's completely surrounded by water, that's called an island. So, an island is completely surrounded by water in the ocean. So, you can only get to an island by going through the water or flying over the water to get to that island. It's completely surrounded by water. If you look out here, you can see islands. You also might have seen an island in Moana. If you've seen that movie, it's all about an island. All right, the next landform, really cool, is called a canyon. Now, a canyon is really cool because it is made by a river. So, the river flows through the land and it flows and flows and flows and it breaks down that rock and it makes it taller and taller and taller on each side and it makes a canyon. 
So if you look right here, this is a picture of the Grand Canyon. It is really cool, really tall. It's crazy. You can go stand at the top of the Grand Canyon and look down. You wouldn't believe how far down it is. It's really cool. That's a, called a canyon. Now here's this next one you've probably heard of, mountains. So mountains are really, really tall landforms that are usually pointy at the top. And they're the tallest landforms on earth, mountains. So if you look at these pictures, there's some pictures of some pretty famous mountain ranges. Some of them are white because they're covered in snow. Now, when you have two mountains next to each other, they form a V and that's called a valley. So if you look at these pictures, two mountains side by side make a V or a valley. So it is two mountains right next to each other. And it's so easy to remember because valley starts with a V, v that's the V sound and it's shaped like a V. Perfect, easy to remember. That is a valley. Now, there's some landforms that are not quite as tall as mountains, and they're not pointy, they're usually round. Those are called hills. So let's look at some hills. So if you look here, there's some hills. Hills are not as tall as mountains, and they're not as pointy as mountains, but they're round. And the, they can be kind of tall. So it's kind of fun to maybe drive over some hills um, or play on some hills because they are a landform that is raised up from the ground, kind of like mountains, but not quite as tall. Now, the next one we're gonna look at, you probably haven't heard of before. It's called a plateau. So plateaus are really tall as well but they're flat on the top. Plateau is a landform that has a flat top. So if you look at these pictures, it's kind of crazy. Plateaus have a flat top and that's what makes them unique. Now, this last one I'm gonna tell you about, you might not think is a landform because it's not really raised up off the ground, but there's a lot of them in the world, and those are called plains. Now, plains are flat areas of land, really big, flat areas of land. We have lots of those in Texas. Now, they might have a few trees here and there, but mostly it's completely flat, and that's called a plain. If you look right here in this picture, there are mountains in the background, but the part that's a plain is all that flat land in the front. Now, pretty cool stuff, all those landforms. Now, what I'm gonna show you is how you can make landforms with Play-Doh. So actually, me and my sister, if you believe it or not, made some landforms out of Play-Doh so we could show you how to do your project at home. So you have all week to work on these. I'm gonna show you two different examples. So, the first one is right here, all right? So, if you look, it has a lot of different landforms. Right here, you see all this water, that's the ocean, all right? And then they have this piece of land completely surrounded by water, that's an island. Then you have over here, a piece of land surrounded on three sides of water. One, two, three. That's a peninsula. Then over here, you see this land, that surrounding part of the water, that's a bay. We have this river, this river that's running through a canyon. And this canyon has flat tops. You remember what that's called? A plateau. So when it has a flat top, it's called a plateau. Now this river is flowing through the ocean and has the mouth that goes into the ocean. So that's where that river is flowing. It's flowing into the ocean, it shows you the river mouth. Now you can add some fun things. I've got a couple palm trees and 
a cactus. You can add your own flair on there if you would like to. Here is our second example. So on this one, we have some plains, all this flat land. We've got some hills. You see they're rounded. They're not quite as tall as the mountains. We've got two mountains. And if you look between them, do you see that V? That's a valley in between the two mountains. And in the middle of our land, we have this body of water, and that's a lake. So you can make it your own. You can make whatever land forms and bodies of water that you want. Now, it can be any color of Play-Doh that you have in your bag from school. So it doesn't have to be the same color as I had, and it doesn't have to be the same color as it would be in real life, but I do want you to label your landform so I know which one is which, all right? Now, I'm so excited to see your landforms and bodies of water. Remember, you have all week to do these. And on Friday, I want you to send me pictures of your landforms and bodies of water. And I can't wait to see them. You guys have a great week.